Remember that Puerto Rico used to be known as Little Israel. Puerto Rican means land of the brave lord. And Hibario or Hibaro equals Hebrew. It slightly changes over time. Remember, Columbus wasn't the first person who sailed the ocean blue in 1492, but he was able to basically colonize you and a whole bunch of other areas in the Americas. And they were able to wipe out an entire Taino culture and groups of people. They were able to steal the history books to burn them. And you have to really speak with your elders, with your grandma and your grandpa, in order to be able to hear some of this information. Because when Puerto Ricans wake up to the fact that they're related to Joshua in the Bible, Joshua is from the tribe of Ephraim. Ephraim is the son of Joseph. Joseph was basically the king of Egypt. So which Israel and which Egypt? Because there's the northern kingdoms, the northern and the southern. So which Egypt are we talking about? Are we talking about the Egypt in the east? The Egypt on the west? Don't you know that the Indies really equals the land that's in the east, Indies, and the West Indies. I don't like the term Indians, but indigenous. Yes, yes, they have robbed the roots. They have stolen the native nativity, the story of you and your culture, just like how Puerto Rico basically used to be called Little Israel. But what did they do? They created the term race in the 1600s. And then they started to tell the people, hey, look down on them because they're dark skinned, right? And they created an alpha and a beta Israel mindset. And eventually, well, what was born? It was a racist child. And that racist child had many more racist children. Back in the day, remember, Israel equals all of the colors, right? The, the coat of Joseph, the color of the rainbow, also was a promise, and it was for remembrance of the 12 tribes, because the 12 tribes, but especially Ephraim, remember that, Joshua, remember that, Pete. 12 tribes equals the jewels of the crown of the Most High, right? So he hid these things, for those who have studied and who have shown themselves approved. Because if you knew that you came from a, a royal lineage, right, that ancestral mechanism or DNA, because we're all related to our, our daddy's daddy's daddy, and who would that equal? Once you know who you are, you're like, okay, this person in the Bible I was related to, it makes sense why I got a lot in common with him. Remember that Joshua equals Joshua, which also equals Joshua was Hosea. Hosea. That's why you see all these names like Emmanuel, Jesus. It's all Hebrew. And then they mix a little bit of English in there over time. So that's why it's so interesting to understand these cultures because it teaches us who we are and why, why we're here. So if anybody's interested, making a difference, helping out the community, creating a, a sewing company or getting some real clothes made out of real cotton, wool or linen for the babies and the adults, or if you're trying to use the fruit that grows from the vine or the field and distribute that accordingly or if you're trying to sell hammocks right or honey or beeswax we have the ability to grow supernaturally more than any other nation when we actually come together and that's what levi means is to join to intermediate and that's the tribe that i'm from is to help out in this cause